The first Comic Con event of the year arrived in the capital this weekend. Box set bingers and comic book fans were treated to a lineup of stars from some of the most recognisable shows, such as Doctor Who, Game of Thrones, and Good Service. We sent Anna Geary to Olympia to get a first look at the action. Olympia Hall was buzzing as dedicated fans of comics, TV, gaming and pop culture came together. Some characters cuter than others, many travelling from far and wide. We come from Norway. Especially yeah. to London for this? Especially for this one, yeah. We've come from deepest, darkest Kent, haven't we, dear? No, we On have. our rooms. We're Salem. On our rooms. Well, we came <laughs> We came via Kent. We flew our brooms into Kent because there's a nice little landing pad for one's brooms. And then we made our way here. But the rain was a bit awful. It was making one's sort of progress a little bit, wasn't it, a bit spluttering on the way. Actors, too, made quite the journey to attend. To the frying pan into the mire. Doctor Who in 1987. Sylvester McCoy travelled through time for today's meet and greet. Once I met a fan who, who had a bag full of stuff for me to sign and was shaking with excitement. And then he was saying, I love Doctor Who, it's the best thing in the world. And at the time I was Doctor Who number seven, he said, and you are my fifth favourite Doctor. <laughs> that always amused me. At least I wasn't the last, you see. Also in Doctor Who, but better known for her role in Good Omens, a series which promotes inclusivity, it was Maggie Service's first Comic-Con. I've just had this lovely mum um, whose, whose children uh, aren't, aren't here today but are um, non-binary and trans and uh, it's going to make me cry I guess, but they've just, you know, they've said that, that the character give, gives them a place to be. The sci-fi convention has been hosted in West London for more than a decade, a testament to its enduring appeal for devoted fans. Anna Geary, ITV News.